What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dub Q, and I'm here welcoming you to another episode of Between the Lines Podcast. You already know what time it is. We are back in the building, and we back up to it. You already see it. Look, before we do anything or get into anything, make sure whatever you do, you subscribe to the channel, go over to the sister channel, subscribe to Black Cat Panther Podcast, and show that love, man. We also have Life is a Ways Podcast, so do your part. Show that love. Make that red button click. So without further ado, the Carolina Panthers workout Josh Norman. You heard me right. The Carolina Panthers workout Josh Norman. This comes in lieu of the injury that was sustained to J.C. Horn. When? No one knows seemed to be, but it seems to be he got injured Sunday and it was pretty much a freak accident enough for him to have a broken arm. So he's going to have surgery come this Tuesday. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to see if he's going to be able to get going get get it running for the rest of the season that's going to be a question mark but in doing so the carolina panthers go out and they find a familiar face in josh norman hometown product right here the carolina panthers when last seen in a uniform with the carolina panthers he was an all pro that is 2015. look when i tell you he hosted 16 games started for us he had over 56 tackles i mean four interceptions the guy had Two fumble recoveries, three forced fumbles. That was in the 2015 season when he was last seen here in Carolina. Over the, the, the vast majority of his career, he did four more years in Washington, where he had a, a fairly decent career there. Buffalo, he had a stint there. Nine games he played, he only uh, started three. And then he had a resurgence to his career in San Francisco last year, where the cat just went in for 14 games and he was a straight dog and when i say dog he had seven forced fumbles he put that peanut punch that he learned from peanut tim in 2015 straight to use and i'm telling you man i gotta love what i'm seeing from this because this is a good move shout out to steve wilkes for actually putting in the call to one of our guys this is much needed when you're gonna get i'm gonna be honest with you the feeling that i got was not only nostalgia but it was like, okay, we're getting a decent guy. Because right now, opposite J.C. Horn, Josh Norman will be the second best corner on this team. Over C.J. Henderson, over any of these guys that you have on the roster right now. I think even with Dante Action Jackson being here, I think Josh Norman is a better option than Dante Jackson. Only because, one, he can go man-to-man with your guys. And he can, he can, he can garner respect amongst this playing field man uh respect that your boy action jackson just ain't getting him because he tends to get burned even though he's hurt right now he tends to get burned uh cj henderson gets burned uh <laughs> and to tell you the honest truth for the last two weeks we've been getting picked apart at the cornerback position anybody opposite of jc horn i mean keith taylor <laughs> no so with Josh Norman coming in, it's a much needed upgrade of what we currently had. It's a move that we probably should have made in the beginning of the year um, because not only is it a homecoming, but it's a guy that can come in and produce for you and become a turnover machine. And Steve Wilkes said it best. A guy like this understands he's cut from our cloth. He's made out of stuff that we're made out of. And... Bringing in a guy like Josh Norman says and signals to everybody, hey, we want to win this division and we want to win it right now. So I'm with you when I'm telling you, look, last year, the cat had, uh, what was it? 49 tackles. I believe he had one interception. One interception is pretty good to say that you were brought in in the middle of the season to really kind of <clears throat> be a star worth corner to really get over the hump. And so... But him being in free agency, spending most of the year down, he's coming in fresh. This is, would be a great signing for the Carolina Panthers. And if he can pick up the lingo in enough time to play for Sunday, you might have a pretty good option at the cornerback position to go to while J.C. Horn is down. That'll give us depth that we didn't have. Um, so it's a great signing to me if they can get it done. Like I said, this is all barring he passed the physical because they want to see what kind of physical shape that he's going to be in. But with that being said, Norman is usually always taking his physique very seriously. So I doubt that anything will happen there. So 
shout out to the Panthers for making a move that's going to really be able to come in. You bring in a dog like Brian Burns in the cast and the crew is already talking about him, how much of a dog he is. He's a difference maker. So with that being said, in Carolina, it's just something special about that guy named Norm. So if you are a Panther fan right now, you should be excited because you're getting a playmaker. Like I said, just last year, he forced seven, seven forced fumbles. He caused that, not nobody else. He did. And that's a career high. 2021, you'll look it up if you think I'm lying. San Francisco, he did it. So I'm in I'm enjoying the option of us actually considering bringing him in. I think it'll be very good for this team. And I think it's the veteran presence that we need here in Carolina. So with that being said, bring on the Norman. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Let's get this division. Y'all already know what time it is, man. It's your boy Dub Q. And make sure if you haven't already, go on over, like, subscribe, show that love, hit that Black Cat Panther podcast while you while you're there. As well as Life is a Ways podcast. Look, we're building a network. So let's get to it. Y'all have a good one.